Well, we all often indulge in receiving feedback and giving feedback, which I think is a phenomenal way of keeping ourselves in the right direction because we get to know what is it that we're doing well, what is it that we aren't doing well. But there is a fundamental flaw in the way feedback is often shared. And the problem is that feedback often focuses on what has already happened. So feedback is about the past, something which has happened in the past, and therefore we can't do much about it. In fact, we can't do anything about it. However, real feedback should focus on what needs to be done thereafter, what needs to be done in the future. And this is where a wonderful technique proposed by the legendary executive coach, Marshall Goldsmith comes into picture. And the name of the technique is feed forward. So I'm going to talk to you about feed forward and how do you indulge in conducting a very, very fruitful feed forward session, either with your colleagues or with your friends or with anyone for that matter. So what exactly do we mean by feed forward? So as I said, feedback dwells upon the past, whereas feed forward talks about the future. So how do we conduct it? Let's say you're having a one-to-one -one conversation with a colleague of yours. And now as you're talking to your colleague, you don't talk about anything about the past. No discussions about the past. You only focus about what needs to be done by your friend from here on so that he or she can become better, better at work, better in personal life, whatever the case might be. So you suggest an idea. For example, you say, if you focus on your ability to present your thoughts in a convincing fashion, you will be more successful at the workplace. Now, that's something which is to be done in the future. So you've spoken about what needs to be done by your friend in terms of his presentation capability, right? So it talks about what needs to change in the future. Now, the objective here is to help people look at their future from a brighter perspective. And everyone loves to look at what needs to be done for the future rather than what needs to be corrected in the past, because that's a foregone conclusion. The second thing you need to remember when it comes to feed forward is that you just give one idea. You don't dwell upon 10, 15, 20 ideas. Why? Because if you give more than one idea, people may not be able to remember everything, first of all. And secondly, as you give the second, third, fourth, fifth idea, the first idea that you gave loses its significance. So don't indulge in giving too many ideas. Perhaps one idea is a good start. Share an idea, ask the other person to implement it, come back to you with some thoughts, with some suggestions, with some questions, and that's a far better way of dealing with it. So one idea at a time, not more than that. The third thing is you can actually do this in a group as well. Let's say there is a group of 10 people. You are a team of 10 people. So the first person walks in and then he asks for feed forward from the rest of the group members. Now, what is it that the rest of the group members do? They would all share their feed forward about this particular person. So someone might say, you need to work on your communication ability. Someone will say, you need to take decisions fearlessly. Someone will say, you need to improvise on how you draft your emails to the clients. Yeah. So each person would give a thought, a message to this person. And that person would accumulate everything and act on that. So one idea per person is what you get from all the people in the room. And then the next person walks in, he or she also gets feedback from the remaining nine people. So it can be actually done on a one-to-one -one basis or a one-to-many basis. This is a wonderful way of helping each other rather than focusing on what has happened in the past, you're focusing on what needs to change in the future. But feed forward comes with a caveat. And the caveat is, you are only focusing on helping the person. You're not trying to critique someone. You're not trying to tell someone that you're wrong, that you've done so many things bad in the past. No, that's a huge no, because you're only focusing on what needs to change in the future. So the behavior is about the future here. Yeah, And therefore, even when you receive feed forward from someone, you may like it, you may not like it. If you don't like it, just leave it. Don't critique the feed forward that you receive from other people. A lot of times people tend to make that mistake. You know, I don't agree with you. It's perfectly all right. If you don't agree, let it be. You don't need to accept and implement every feed forward suggestion that you receive. So here are a few things that you can do in your individual capacity or as a team. But feed forward is a wonderful way of helping people, whether it's your team member, whether it's your subordinate, whether it's your colleague, whether it's your manager. Everyone deserves 
a good feed forward session. So try doing it and do let me know how has it worked for you. I'm sure with feed forward, you'll be able to take your conversations to the next level of excellence. So an opportunity for us to try and see how it works for us. Thank you.